Gilbert and George are two of the most important British artists who have been working together since the late 60s. Everything they do is classified as sculpture because sculpture is an object that exists in space, in real time, and they regard their lives as an artwork. Because they are human sculptures, every waking moment is part of their artwork. There is no deviation from it at all. This display presents work that is a transition from the 1970s when Gilbert and George were making black and white work. They introduced red in the late 70s and the first body of work presented in this show includes Crusade from 1980. This is a yellow and red piece, very simple composition, very sort of clear, geometric, uh, three bands of colour, this form of the chair rising up through the central two panels. The yellow side panels show Gilbert and George sitting on that same chair as if they're engaged in some kind of ceremony or ritual. In some ways there's an almost macabre, morbid sense in which when you sit in that chair you are on the cross. It took Gilbert and George seven or eight years to introduce one colour red. They worked with just red for another five years and then slowly introduced one, then two, then three or four more colours. By the time they get to existers, yeah, they've increased the scale to 28 panels. Not only is the scale increased, but the complexity of the composition is much more busy and dynamic. There's a, an, an explosion, almost a riot of colour. Um, and the bodies, it's not just Gilbert and George anymore. There's a crowd of bodies in there, all young men, but in Gilbert and George, they're immersed, enmeshed within this, this jumble of limbs and faces and legs. But at the same time, they're slightly apart. They, they are still the observers onto the, the busyness of, of this life that, that they're addressing. They talk about themselves as being two people, one artist. Everything they have done has been together, in art as in life. Each body of work that they make is a perspective onto the truth that they see out of their window. I don't think that there's a single truth, but many truths.